I ran into some issues recently with um, some Arduino code that I've been writing. The code uh, initially uh, was designed to do some time sensitive work based on uh, changes on a couple of the pins, um, namely pin 2 and 3 of, uh, of an Arduino. And uh, at that time I was using a Nano. What I noticed was that um, within the loop that um, looks for the changes and, and does the appropriate work, uh, there were some timing issues uh, where the the state of the pins uh, wasn't being detected um, quite reliably. And um, in order to figure out exactly what's going on, I um, I decided to put in a, a toggle, um, a pin toggle. And uh, what I noticed while that uh, toggle was running was that every so often Arduino would stutter and uh, the toggle stopped. So I thought, well, maybe it's just something uh, to do with a part of the loop. Uh, maybe some parts take longer. So I decided then to remove the relevant portions that I thought would be affecting um, the delay or would be causing that delay. And in the end, I was left with pretty much this. And all this is is just a loop and a toggle. And uh, before you scream at me and tell me that it's got something to do with the watchdog, um, it doesn't. It, uh, whether the watchdog is on or not, the behavior is exactly the same. And um, uh, the watchdog here is enabled, but uh, I could just as well disable it and the same thing would happen. So initially, this was started by another project. Um, the code that I was working on was for a TV uh, that I was modifying. I'll play a little bit of that video right now where I found the issue and I'll, we'll come back and I'll show you exactly what happens with the scope and what I've been able to determine so far. I found something really interesting when uh, working with the Arduino code. I put in a, um, a bit toggle, one of the pins toggles whenever the loop um, is entered and uh, as you can see, this happens often enough that uh, in the majority of cases, there's enough events, or enough loop events happening within each pulse of the clock to do enough of the work. But every so often, there's this. And uh, I'm not sure what's going on here, but basically, it looks like the Arduino is asleep for a moment. And certainly, I mean, that's long enough to, uh, to miss bits as they change during the clock and data cycle. So uh, I'm going to dig into this a little bit deeper and, and try to find out what's going on. But I don't think it's my code. I'm wondering, uh, is there anything else in the Arduino that could be causing it to uh, space out for a bit? Interesting. So this is even more weird. I took out most of the code from the loop and it's, it's just basically a loop with a toggle and it's still happening these um, these pauses are still happening what's going on Arduino so this Arduino is hooked up right now to this TV that I'm working on it's a, another project I'm trying to RGB mod this thing and this is where I discovered the problem so this Arduino is still hooked up it's uh, it's got two, uh, two of its pins hooked up to the I squared C line within the TV, and then the rest of it is power. Uh, I have the um, power bypass with a with a capacitor just to make sure it's it's clean, and then I I just have the probe hooked up to one of those pins, and that pin is that toggle pin. And uh, let's jump to the scope, and I'll show you exactly what's happening here. So we'll let this run for a second and then I will pause it and then you should be able to see that there are black lines here where Arduino has basically stopped functioning for a second. And there it is. And of course these uh, pulses are just um, pulses from that pin which is being toggled off and on inside of the loop. So there's really nothing else going on here. As you can see, every so often there's a pause 
right? And uh, if we look at this pause, there's another one there, and there's another one there. And if we line these up against the cursor, which I already have prepared because I've done this measurement already, you can see that it lines up. So this uh, this is occurring at the exact same interval every single time. And believe it or not, this interval is exactly one second. So what is going on here? Really interesting. And yes, I did think this was a, a watchdog issue at first. And of course, that's what led me to uh, try to disable it and experiment with the watchdog. And it made absolutely no difference. And before you say that this was simply related to the fact that this Arduino was hooked up to the TV and I had the additional lines tied to another part of the TV circuitry and that may have been causing it, well, I can assure you that's not the case. Here's the Arduino by itself. The probe is attached to the one pin that is being toggled. I'm using the Scope's USB power supply as the power source and let's have a look shall we so we're gonna let it run and then I'll pause it and let's see if those brakes are still there yep there we are as you can see there's one right there and there's one right there same time interval same thing as before so it's, uh, I, I don't know what to conclude uh, from, from all this. At this point, I'm, I'm thinking it certainly can't be the software. There's really not much running in there uh, at all. So is there something going on with the hardware? Is there a problem with the serial chip? Is it triggering some sort of a pause on the CPU? Is there a problem with the clock? Is there a problem with the power? I don't know, but it certainly seems like a like a hardware issue more than anything else. So I think the next step should be to try this trick on various different models of the Arduino. I have a few of these boards, uh, different ones, and uh, I'm going to run this experiment on each one of them and see see what we get and maybe this is just something related to these boards in particular these cheap Chinese boards and uh, this problem may not exist anywhere else well, well we'll have to see at this point I'm not quite sure so let's go ahead and do that I hooked up another nano this one is uh, just a a little bit more legit than the other one that I had. Um, this one came from a local electronics store, um, but unfortunately, same issue right there. Same code, same issue. Uh, is there a difference between these two? I'm not sure. Let's see. 528, sorry, 328P, and this one is probably the same thing. 328p so yeah they both look pretty much identical same serial chip uh, same everything and same behavior okay let's move on to something a little bit more legit and see if we can replicate this problem there okay and here we have a legitimate Arduino micro uh, the code is already uploaded and I got the probe hooked up and let's see what we get okay so well it looks like the same stuff is happening here as well but it's not as consistent as with the other one well, I didn't expect that. That's uh, that's really interesting. Okay, what's going on with these devices? This is uh, this is this isn't right, huh? Okay, 
I got uh, another board to test, so let's uh, go ahead and do that, and then maybe we can come up with some sort of a theory as to what's going on. And last but not least, we have a cheapo Uno knockoff board. And of course, uh, the code is already uploaded, and uh, get the scope up and running, and I can already see that we're going to have trouble with this as well. Let's stop and uh, confirm. Yep. Well, I don't know. Yeah, there it is again. But, you know, this one, the interval, again, is different. So, what does that tell us? I mean, it's, it's uh, happening less frequently with this board, as you can see. Or is it? No, maybe it isn't. It's the same, isn't it? Yeah. I just had a different time base set up. <sighs> I don't think it's my code. I insist that it isn't. Maybe you guys know something I don't. Um, can anybody tell me what's going on with these devices? Are, are they just crappy? I mean, uh, I have this project. I need to be really precise with the timing and uh, I have this happening that's not gonna work it's never gonna work with these things so do I just abandon this hardware so in addition to what you saw I tested a couple more boards uh, mainly uh, a series of uh, nano boards that I got from Aliexpress I have a bunch of them from different suppliers and they all behave in the exact same way so I took uh, probably three or four different types. I'm not sure if those are different. They look somewhat different. They use um, slightly different uh, PCBs and the parts are positioned just, just a little bit off on each one. And I figured maybe there's a, there's a difference between each one of those, but no, they, they all behave the same way. They're, they have that one second pause and um, they're all like that. So now I have some additional information about this issue I've been able to trigger on this pause and uh, I've been able to trigger quite reliably it does uh, appear to be very consistent so as you can see those lines there that's the pause right there there's one in the middle which I'm triggering on and then very consistently you see these pauses happening and this uh, the time between each one is about a second on top of this, the pause itself is uh, the same length, time length, all the time. So that makes me think that uh, whatever is happening here is not uh, a result of a power issue or anything like this. It has to do with some sort of a hardware internal function that the Arduino board is performing. And I'm simply gonna guess and say that there may be something in the bootloader that uh, triggers an interrupt every s single second, or there may be something in the serial chip that diverts uh, the attention from from the main loop to some internal function that is being executed for that period of time. And therefore we have no activity uh, within the Arduino code at all. So, the pause itself, as you can see, is uh, over 6.2 microseconds, and that's quite a long time, especially when I need to consider that uh, the TV that I'm trying to modify, the pulses are occurring every 4 microseconds, so with this type of delay, this type of uh, stalling, uh, taking over 6.2 microseconds there's no way I can handle that communication reliably it's just not gonna happen and now I'm fairly satisfied with the explanation of why it's not happening I still don't understand the root cause for it and I'm hoping that uh, when I post this video you guys will be able to respond and tell me exactly what's going on here because I just don't know much about the platform I don't know enough about it 
to be able to make a, a conclusion myself. So hopefully you guys can help me out with this. So I guess now uh, the only thing left to do is just to uh, simply abandon the Arduino platform for the work that I'm doing here and switch to something a little bit uh, more reliable. And I'm thinking probably the MSP430 is the way to, uh, to go at this point. Now, of course, there may be a way to compile something for the processor itself, uh, skipping the Arduino platform altogether, but um, I just, uh, I wanted to make this so that it's accessible to everybody, and I thought Arduino was the way to do it, of course, because these devices are common and easy to develop for, and... Uh, very easy to program so it would have made it uh, very easy on everybody but if we can't go that route then uh, I guess we'll have to try something entirely different and then I might as well just use something that I'm more comfortable with so that's the plan with the TV that's uh, that's how I'm going to proceed with the project and uh, I guess this will be it for this video so like I said hopefully you guys will be able to uh, let me know what's happening exactly here and uh, I hope you've uh, at least enjoyed some of this and uh, if you have please don't forget to subscribe or leave me a like and I'll see everybody on the next video. Bye everyone.